Hello there and welcome back to another video. My name is Pugginvish and today I'm going to be showing you uh, the very first video of hopefully many um, on how to make your very own resource pack um, which includes a lot of different um, programs that you may need. So these are three programs that you uh, may need and I recommend if you want to do this for free. So Pay.net is a free um, text or not text uh, image editing software and this is a free text editing software. So both of these are required. You need some sort of text editing software and some sort of image editing software. Um, these two are my um, two free ones of choice. And then you may need a some sort of extraction um, program. 7-Zip is what I use, uh, but there's plenty out there. Um, and for this series, I will actually be using uh, Photoshop instead of this. And I will also be using Visual Studio Code instead of this, which Photoshop is not free. Visual Studio Code is free, but it's a bit different. But um, if you want to get all these, I'll have links to this site, this site, this site, and the Visual Studio Code site. Um, if you want to check that one out as well, but I would recommend this one over the other. Okay, so yeah. First thing you want to do is navigate to your Minecraft folder. Uh, so the best way to do that, in my opinion, is to go percent app data percent. Okay, and if you press enter, you should see this file come up. And we want to go to the Minecraft one, and then go all the way down to versions. And um, I would go to the version that has the, the default texture that you like. So for me, 114.3 works fine. Um, I have experience that 114.4 doesn't have a jar file, which is something that you need. So uh, if you go to 114.3, this will have your jar file. You want to copy that and put it somewhere where you can work with. I've already done that right here. So now what you want to do is just go ahead and click on rename. And you can take, oh, rename, and you can take these last three letters and turn this into zip. And you will get a warning, just say yes, and you'll have a zip folder. So now what you can do is go ahead and open the zip folder. And this will give you a ton of stuff that you don't know what to do with, I assure you. So the only thing we care about is this very top folder. We want to right click on this and select copy. And then we're done with this for now. Okay, so now what we want to do is create a new folder. Uh, I'm going to call it our pack. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and then uh, paste that file in here. I've, yep, there we go. So this is pasting. And it may take a bit of time, but all right, guys. So uh, I was actually right. For some reason, my desktop went back to a different type. Anyways, this will have a Minecraft folder. You want to go ahead and get rid of the assets root. You don't need that. And then go ahead and click on here. And this will have all of the files that affect the visual, um, the visual representation and presentation of the game. So. For us, we, for now, are going to only care about this folder here. But in later tutorials, these other folders will become a bit more useful. But for now, we just want to focus on this one. But this pack isn't necessarily a pack yet. What we need to do is actually get a text folder in here. So this is where Notepad++ comes in handy. So I'm going to link, uh, basically, I'm just going to put a line of code in the description you're going to want to copy it and paste it in here and when you go ahead and copy that you should see something that ends up looking like this in your folder here so this is a JSON code so here where it says tutorial resource pack we're just going to name this say um, we're just gonna put a smiley face in there so you know that's a little greeting we get so leave everything else in here the same go ahead and click on file and save as and then you'll you'll have an all types here click on this you have a ton of options go down to or it goes to JSON go ahead and click on JSON and you should have this and then call this um, pack okay and actually what you might want to do because we're not going to keep this in JSON you just might want to put this as an all types go ahead and save it to somewhere that you will remember and yeah, there we go. So we should see uh, this pack. We're gonna go and drag that in there. What we want to do is rename it, and we want to add an extension. 
This is where we're going to write MC and then META for meta. So MC meta. And this is going to validize the pack or uh, make the pack um, readable by the game. So this is now an MC meta file. Very important that it is this and it is pack.mcmeta. This way you have the requirements that the game needs to actually um, implement whatever you've changed. So now you have your pack set up on a very basic level. So what we want to do now is go ahead and click on assets and we should see a Minecraft folder here. Go ahead and click on that and you'll see that we have all of these files here and we don't want to care about these today. What we want to care about here is just how to change a really simple item texture. So if we go to textures and we go all the way down to where it says item, we can click on that and you can see all the different item textures. Um, and so for us, what we're going to do is we're going to look up the diamond pickaxe. Oops, and I can't spell. So there we go. And we're going to click on this one and we're going to open with paint.net. Okay, so for this video, I am going to be using the stuff I recommend, but in the videos after I'm going to be using other stuff. So here is our um, texture that we want to edit. So um, for me, I want to make this look a little bit more medieval, maybe add a bit more texture and just, you know, fun. So you can't just use this, right? We don't want to do that. So what we want to do is we want to maybe create even a new folder that is maybe double the size of the default, which is 16 by 16. If we do that, we should have a little bit larger of an area to play with. And what you want to do, make sure that the background here is not white. So if you press backspace, you'll get this color. Then if you press delete, you'll get the um, opa like the completely clear background, which is going to be represented by these checkers. Okay, so if we go back here and say we want to base it off of this. So, all right, there we go. And something, a really useful thing to do is display the grid. So this way we can be like, all right, so this is guys kind of maybe two pixels up because we've just doubled it. So if we go two pixels up, one, two, and then how many pixels does it go? Four pixels because we have to double it. So two up and one, two, three, four, right? So this is going to be our first pixel. So if we just do some sort of line here, you can see that 32 by 32 gives you so much more detail, right? So doing something like that, not going to cut it, right? So let's let's go ahead and maybe make it a bit more, um, I don't know, a bit more realistic. Maybe make it a bit more smooth. And the idea that I want to go for here is to make it nice and um, medieval looking because you know medieval pickaxe you gotta have that okay and so if we just bring this all the way up maybe that's a bit high because we want the pickaxe to actually last so maybe if we bring you know the pickaxe here maybe we just want to have it and here and here right so what we should do now is make sure that we get the, the basic color of the pickaxe here and we want to maybe take where we like it you know and just kind of make a rough shape of where we want this to go so for me that's kind of how I've envisioned this right and so as you can see this is something that really you is up to you but for me this is a nice, a nice thin line and so here we're just gonna go do a similar thing but we're gonna get maybe a different shape maybe bring it um, a bit more rounded here or flat so maybe we just flatten it right and do something like this which would kind of give it a proper pick feel this is how picks normally look and if we kind of bring this maybe out a little bit because you know we want it to look a bit more real we do something like that right so now we have a rough idea of how we want now for some people you don't even want to get um, into a bigger uh, 32 by 32 you want to keep it by 16 by 16 like this but for me um, I like having for, or for this specific texture I want to make it a bit more detailed so I'm gonna do a little bit of a time of me finishing this texture up and then I'll show you guys the next steps
Alright guys, so I've reached the point where this pickaxe is kind of getting the shape that I like. Uh, this, this top part I might re-edit here because it's just a little bit off to me. And I kind of like it like that. So what I'm going to do is just kind of flatten it out there. And then what I will do is maybe even take uh, a bit of this, bring it there, and then maybe even shave a bit off of there, right? And, you know, just kind of smooth the, the, the whole thing, thing out, right? And it looks pretty decent, I'd say. This kind of gives the idea that it's uh, a bit more of a medieval style pick, okay? So, of course, I've reached the point that I like, and it's a bit, it's kind of, yeah, it's not the best, but I think I like it. So what I want to do is you want to look at the name of your original, and do you just want to copy it letter for letter? You just go ahead and file, save as, and then make sure you keep the underscore, and there you go, pickaxe, okay? And then just go to somewhere where you know where it's going to be, okay? And it'll show up somewhere. See right here, we have the pickaxe, right? And what we gotta do is just get rid of this, get rid of this, okay, don't save. And then go ahead and get rid of everything here. Drag this into items, and it should say replace whatever. And we, we say yes. So now we have our new diamond pickaxe texture in here. So now what we can do is we can open our Minecraft folder and we'll have a resource packs area and go ahead and just put your pack in there close that open your game okay so now that we are in our thing we should see all the packs that we have installed this is our pack we're gonna go ahead and put pop it in there and then just say done should see it load up and we'll we'll see that nothing really has changed when we get regular textures we go to combat here tools and there is our nice diamond pickaxe and yeah i like it a lot yeah it looks pretty good um and let's, look, let's see what it looks like in f5 you know it looks like a pick like a kind of medieval style pick so you know that that did it for me i like it i like it a lot and uh yeah you can just see how much more detail we got in it by doing something like this and in first person i think it looks pretty decent you know and this is just how you add a new texture to the game and yeah, that's just the simplest thing you can do is just add a new item. Next episode, we're going to cover blocks because blocks are a little bit more complex. And uh, yeah, we're going to cover variation in blocks and just some fun stuff. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully this helped you out a little bit. Obviously, this texture isn't the best, but, um, you know, it's it's, you know, it's something. <laughs> Anyways, guys, see you later.